All right. So today I'll be presenting my internship final presentation. My name is Haley Patney. I'm from Canastota Central High School. And I participated in the Law and Government and Public Administration program this year. Um, next, we have the agenda. And here's that. We'll be talking about the department and a little bit of the department descriptions and some of my duties that I did and um, there is a project that I participated in and then lastly the takeaways and what will be next for me. So the department that I interned at was the mental health department. I was there for about two months, uh, maybe a little more. <laughs> Uh, this is just a little description of what the mental health department really does. So it's basically, they offer a convenient way for um, adults, children, elders, anyone in Madison County to um, be provided with mental health assistance. Um, there are therapy for all different kinds of ages, all different kinds of groups of people. Um, but their goal is to provide the highest quality evidence-based evidence mental health uh, guidance and they want to help guide you in the best directions during life's hardest times. So my supervisors, I was lucky to be with Kim Suntor. She was great and she is the program coordinator. And then I also had Tisha Cook and she is the director of community services. Next is the internship description. So throughout the internship, we did several different things. Um, I was allowed to sit in on like certain kinds of uh, therapy sessions and um, I also sat in with a psychiatrist there, which was really cool because um, she like prescribed medicine and stuff and so I found that like it was just awesome to see her diagnose someone and say, you need a little bit more of this medicine or maybe I, I should cut the doses down on this one or something, you know? So that was cool. I also got to sit in on a virtual clinic, which was really awesome. We learned about EFT, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. And uh, one of the techniques we talked about was tapping. So basically, it's kind of just a calming technique. If you're feeling stressed out, um, you, it's like you literally tap your skin, <laughs> pretty much, in all different types of places on your body. And you do it for a few minutes, and it just it calms you down, and it gets you back into you know where you should be so that was one super cool i really liked learning about that um some of my duties i never really was given any duties um a lot of times i just sat in on meetings watched and that was the most of it really but um i did complete a community outreach project which we were assigned through our law class um so i had a vision when we were told that we had to do the community outreach, outreach project. So we already went through and we uh, toured a lot of the uh, departments here at the mental, or not at the mental health place, but at Madison County. So we went through the mental health department already previously and we saw the kids room where the kids played. And it was a little bit messy. <laughs> we were like, oh, this could be awesome. Like so many kids come in here and so many kids want to play and stuff. Say if their parents are in a session, a session or if they are you know but um so a light bulb went off and I wanted to give back to the children that attended the mental health department so step number one I started off by cleaning all the old toys disinfecting everything you know taking all the old stuff out and that were some of the end results that we got Step number two, after cleaning and disinfecting everything, I decided that I was going to put a post on Facebook asking for some donations. And that was the coolest part because I had so many people all through Madison County reach out to me offering stuff, offering toys, books, uh, coloring things. People went out to stores to buy stuff for this. It was, it was really amazing. Um, it was... I felt like so grateful for the generosity, really. I also wanted to give a big shout out to The Blend in Oneida because they offered a drop box for me and for the donations, which was super awesome. And it was a big help too, because if there were people that were a little farther away but still wanted to donate, it meant a lot, but sometimes we couldn't get in touch with school and everything that I had going on. 
So that was cool because they could bring them there. And we ended up getting a lot of stuff there, several books and children's like coloring stuff. All right, number three. So after collecting all the supplies and everything, this is just some of the stuff that I came up with. I couldn't get a lot of like the bigger toys in the picture and everything, but those are a lot of the books. We got Play-Doh, coloring pens, pencils, markers. It was really cool. And so everyone was so pleased and everyone came in. They were like, this is awesome. It made me feel really good about myself. <laughs> and so this is my takeaway and reflection. Um, basically, I just said that um, how it made me feel. It made me feel really good. And um, I could tell that I really helped um, not just the mental health department, but I gave the kids something, you know. So this was an opportunity that I was given. And I did this because I wanted to be there, and I actually had an idea, and this helped me for my future. This was better than, like this opportunity I was given to intern with the mental health department, it was better than being stuck in a classroom where I maybe not wanted to be there or maybe not wanted to be doing that work and learning about that subject. This was actually something that I was interested in and I wanted to do. So my career decision, this did help me aim down my career decision. Not, I don't know exactly where I'll be going, but I do know I will be helping children, I will be helping young teens, maybe even adults, whether it be in the courthouse, whether it be um, in a classroom or in an uh, office. You, I don't know, but I know that's what I want to do. <laughs> And my next steps, I will be attending Casanova College this fall. I will be majoring in pre-law and minoring in psychology. And I also have hopes to join the equestrian team. Thank you.